Tamaraj Rukukesh of India is the youngest ever player to win the candidates tournament. Rukukesh has won! He qualifies to play Dingli Ren in a World Chess Championship match. Welcome back chess enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the spectacular journey of Damaraj Gukesh as he clinched victory at the prestigious Candidates Tournament. Let's get started. The Candidates Tournament is no easy feat. It's where the best of the best compete for a shot at the World Chess Championship. This year, Gukesh faced some of the toughest competitors, each with their unique styles and strategies. Round 1 Gukesh vs Vidit As first match set the tone for the tournament, they played the Tarash defense, an aggressive choice, but Gukesh opted for a solid approach, leading to a completely symmetrical position. Despite playing quite unconventionally during the game, they eventually agreed to a draw. Round 12 This was one of the most intense rounds in the tournament. Yen Napamiachi led with 7 points, while Hikaru and Gukesh each had 6.5 points and Fabiano Caruana had 6 points. At this stage, everyone had a chance to win. Hikaru had a spectacular win with White against Alareza, bringing his total to 7.5 points. Caruana made an epic win against Vidin, increasing his total to 7 points. Yan drew with Pragnananda, so he also had 7.5 points. In the match between Gukesh and Nijat, Gukesh needed a win to stay in the running. Gukesh played his superb preparation, which even left the commentators speechless. He turned the position into a very unbalanced one, allowing him to find a winning strategy. Gradually, he maneuvered the end game in his favor and eventually won an epic game. Now, he also had 7.5 points, making the upcoming rounds even more interesting. At the end of the round 12, this was the standings. And finally, round 14, the grand finale. Going into the finals, Gukish was leading with eight and a half points, while Hikaru, Yan, and Fabiano Caruana were all at eight. Here, Gukish had the black pieces against Hikaru, and Yan had the black pieces against Caruana. If Gukish wins, he will win the candidates tournament. If he draws with Hikaru, Hikaru will be out of the tournament, and the other game would decide whether there will be a tie break or not. If Gukish loses, the same situation will apply. So without wasting any time, let's get into the games. In Gukish versus Hikaru, Hikaru surprisingly played the Queen's Gambit, which he had not used throughout the entire tournament. Gukish responded by accepting the Gambit. In the game, Gukish simplified the queen side, forcing a more symmetrical position, and slowly started to trade off pieces. Quickly, they reached an endgame that was soon leading to a draw. After a few moves, they arrived at an opposite color bishop endgame, which in most cases results in a draw. After a few more moves, the game ended in a draw, thus eliminating Hikaru. Faster even than yep. uh, we can get on display, but it seems like the last pawn is gone. So Hikaru's given up his rook, he's given up his winning chances. The game is officially a draw, the handshake is in. Now, all eyes were on Yan's and Karuana's game. They also played the Queen's Gambit, but the Queen's Gambit declined exchange variation. Soon, they had a very unbalanced position to create chances to win. Both players opted for long castling. In this position, Karuana was completely winning. Despite being low on time, Caruana made it to the 40th move, gaining extra time. This was the moment where Caruana had to choose between king to a1 or king to a2, one move likely leading to victory and the other to equality. He played king to a1, which was the wrong move. 
However, Yan made an inaccuracy that shifted the position in favor of White. But on move 59, Caruana blundered his advantage, and the game was back to square one. Yet, Yan blundered as well, putting Caruana back in the running. Even with a winning position, the nerves got to Caruana, and he blundered again, and this was the last blunder of the game. On the 109th move, the players agreed to a draw. Absolutely crazy, and indeed they do shake hands, both players. Surrendered, submitted, resigned in their defeat. Gukish's victory is a testament to his hard work, strategic genius, and unyielding passion for chess. I can't wait to see what he accomplishes next. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing chess stories.